This is a army soldier who recently responded to a medical emergency inside of a Walmart. And let's talk about this. Let me throw seven minutes on the clock and let's get to it. So this is the uh, army medic who performed life-saving CPR on a stranger at Walmart. And this article is from Task and Purpose. He's quoted, I have the skills and responsibility to help others, whether they are a soldier or a civilian. Love that. So a combat medic with the Army's world-class athlete program saved a woman's, which, you know, I need to look up what this Army's world-class athlete program is, saved a woman's life in September while shopping with his family. Sergeant Samuel Koski was shopping at a Walmart in Colorado Springs, Colorado on September 18th when he heard a child screaming. I told my wife to keep the kids where she was and ran over to the aisle where I found the older woman lying on the ground. He is a former marathon runner with the world-class athlete program. Uh, She was not breathing, so I told the other woman standing there to dial 911 while I cleared the area and assessed the situation. He gave the woman CPR until she was breathing again. Then once she was conscious, Koski escorted the upset child to his wife and kids who helped him calm down. So what I love about this is not only did he get involved, but his family got involved too. You know, as we know, the family of a service member serves as well. And uh, in this case, they came to the rescue and aid of a family in need. So, uh... Other athletes and staff in the WCAP didn't know anything about Koski's heroic actions until a week later when it came up in a casual conversation. So, you know, what I like about that is so often um, these, like, like, like I'm always saying on the show, it's very common that service members end up coming to the aid or help or assistance of regular people throughout their day-to-day lives. It happens all the time. It's happened to me. I've talked about it before on the show. I'm sure it's probably happened to you or someone you know. It's probably happened recently. And uh, what I love about this is he didn't even consider to seek any recognition or even bring it up as a big deal. It only came up because it just happened to come up. And then once the army or, you know, the military, the Navy, whatever it is, uh, in this case, it's the army, gets wind of this type of thing, they usually will go ahead and present some kind of honors or recognition to the brave acts that these people, you know, military veterans and their families exhibit on a daily basis. So... The WCAP commander, Bryce Livingston, said he didn't know anything about it until Koski's supervisor recommended him for an award, and he described Koski as extremely humble. I was shocked to find out, but not surprised, because that is just the kind of person Sergeant Koski is, Livingston said. He is a leader, and I could always count on him to get tasks done. Koski credited his medic training for his actions that day, saying he's proud to be a medic, and that applies 24-7. That's so awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, Did I say what his rank was, Sergeant, Sergeant Koski? Good for you, Sergeant Koski. Thank you for being a a great example of what the Army is, a great example of what a medic is, a great example of what a veteran is, and coming to the aid of somebody in need. And it just so happened to be at a Walmart. So I wonder if this was like a people at Walmart scenario. Uh, Let me know, as always, if you or someone you know has rushed to the aid of somebody on your way to work while out shopping, whatever it is, um, save some, you know, people out in town, car accident, you know, I can just, I've been, we've been over these scenarios before. Let me know how it went down. I'd love to hear that story in the comments down below. And uh, thanks for checking out that story with me. What's up guys. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want in the description down below, there's links where you can get scuttlebutt show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.